Welcome to Golf Cask Tastings. Slide up a stool, enjoy the pool. So let's go in here. So what I'm gonna do is I have my glass. I just did a tour and a visit at J.H. Bard's there in Southwest Virginia. A small craft distillish, distillery. Um, really good dudes if you're in Southwest Virginia. They're currently in Radford, Pulaski County, and that's where I actually student taught when I was in college. They're phenomenal dudes. Go out there and visit, and they're getting ready to move over actually to Blacksburg. They're building a new uh, tasting room, and they're building the distillery parts as well in the Blacksburg area, so they're kind of moving over. Still Southwest Virginia, just closer to my alma mater, Virginia Tech. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna pretend this is what a tasting would look like, and enjoy. J.H. Barge Single Malt. All right, everyone. If you don't want to hear my tasting and what I like, stop the tape. Come back after you actually taste J.H. Bards. J.H. Bards is a small company here in Virginia, small distillery. Phenomenal company, phenomenal dudes. If you are in Southwest Virginia, I highly encourage you to go visit them. They have bourbons, they have ryes, they have a great toasted rye that I have back here in the background. This is with their six-year-old. They just released their seven-year-old, and by the time I got there, it was sold out. Kind of made me not happy, but big surprise is they have their first American single malt out. Oh my goodness, right? A single malt made in the States. Love it. But they do it a little bit different. It is a single malt. It is put in a, a, a white oak barrel for the first two and a half years. And then they transfer it over to a toasted. That's right. So toasted means it is charred less than a typical bourbon barrel. So it is in a toasted barrel. So it brings in different notes than you normally get from something sitting in a bourbon barrel for five years. So this is a five years on, on the racks, sitting in a barrel, so two and a half in a typical white, white oak barrel. Then it's tra transferred over two and a half years into the toasted barrel. So again, if you know me, I like fruit, I like vanilla, I like sweet, that sweet caramelly taste up front, and I, I love spice at the end. I want that little bit of rye, a little bit of bite, a little bit of... I just like that little bit of punch, maybe a little higher alcohol content. I like spice at the end to kind of remind me I'm alive, right? So what we have here on the nose, it's kind of funny. I can definitely tell if, you, if you've drank enough single malts, if you drank, you know, malted barley, it's got a distinct flavor. Once you smell it, you know it. So you can definitely tell it's a single malt, right? But I'm getting floral. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of fruit. I'm getting floral. Well, if you know my profile, not a floral fan. So right, you know, so when I first take the sniff of this, I like the sweet, I like the, the, the barley smell. I'm getting a little bit of fruit, but I'm getting kind of a little florally note. But I, I'm, I'm also getting a little, I have to say, a little bourbon tones to it. But overall, that's kind of what my smells are like. So now I'm gonna go to the taste. For a single malt, this really freaks me out. Front end is, is a little florally, it's definitely sweet, definitely single malt sweet, right? I think of an Irish, I think of a Scotch. I'm getting that malt, malt, malt front end. A little bit of sweet, a little bit of floral. Not too much floral that it takes away from me, but, it, but it's there for me. But the back end, I get a kick, man. I'm getting, I'm getting, it, to me it is almost like a bourbon finish, which is unique. So the front half is like an Irish whiskey, the back half would be just that, a bourbon. So I get the spicy note. It's about 92 proof, I think. So it's 40%, 46% alcohol. So not super high, high, but you know, it does have a little, does have a little gas in the, in, in the tank. So to me, like I said, I think it's really, really cool in the fact that I'm getting sweet floral, not a fan, but I can roll with it. But the back end bourbon outweighs any of that floral. So again, it's a good smell. Like I said, got a little, it's got a little floral note to it. Tastes like an Irish finishes. Kind of like a spicy bourbon. If I was going into my Irish, I would say Drush Chambeau, I, I would say a couple of the different writers' tiers, powers, they will give me some of this bite at the end. A lot of pot stills do because they'll put it in a third grain, and that third grain gives you kind of a different spice or a bite. But again, this is this is just, I believe it's 100% malt. Handcrafted in Virginia, the New River Valley. Mash Bill SM100, 96 proof. Really, really good stuff. The Jasons over at 
JH Bards, thank you so much. Thank you for opening it up the other day for me and my friend and my daughter swung by. It's a good whiskey. It's a good single malt. For those that are bourbon fans that are not the biggest single malt fans, give this one a shot. Might just change your mind. Cheers. Oh, before I go, if you're really part of Golf Cast Nation, you're gonna understand that the tap of the glass. What does that mean? Why do we do it? So the the wise tale or the behind it is it's an old Irish tradition to get rid of evil spirits. You always tap your glass to release them. Now you can also think of spirits as being a good whiskey. So if it's a bad whiskey, if it's got something, uh, a, a flavor tone or a, you know, something in the whiskey, you can tap it and it'll, it'll release it. So again, that's why we tap. And then the other thing you're gonna kind of learn over time when we do a tasting, and at the end, if we tap out, you probably know it's gonna be a four or five. So you tap at the end to say, hey, bartender, you did a great job in recommending this, or this was just a really, really great whiskey and you're just kind of paying homage, saying, you know, again, tap of the glass, again, just explains to everyone that's around you how good the whiskey is. So that's kind of a superstition slash tradition inside of Golf Cast. So we'll start every tasting with a tap of the glass. And if we really like it, so here's your cheat. If you see any of us during a tasting where we go at the end, you know it's gonna get a four or five. We really like that whiskey. So Joey H. Bartz, cheers.